Hey guys and welcome to A34 of making videos and having fun. And today we just have a quick look at last week's fantasy results for my team. Um, my overall rank dropped, which is the stat I care most about today. Dropped from about 5,000 and 4,500 to about 5,600. Even though I am above the average of 56 with 61, the average inside the top 5k is quite a bit higher than that, as you would imagine. <coughs> Um, De Bruyne proved to be the best captain choice instead of Mo Salah. In fact, both Robertson and Alexander Arnold did significantly better um, for me this week with a clean sheet and the three points bonus for Robertson. It's kind of unusual. Usually, Alexander Arnold and Van Dyke will get those three points. Um, Bamiyan got result for me, as did uh, it was just my two defenders and Danny Ings. Um, this week, I made a transfer. I transferred out. Kelly, who I had in last week, Kelly, um, he's injured, isn't going to play, and also now that the uh, other player for Crystal Palace who plays his position, Ward, is back from injury, Kelly wouldn't, wouldn't be getting any minutes probably even if he was fit, so I transferred him out for Bolly, Bolly, uh, Wolves defender, recently, you see he's been out for injury for a long time, but back twice, two clean sheets and his fixtures, very nice fixture coming up. Tottenham away the week after, and then some really, really nice um, fixtures there. So that looks like for a 4.7 million. Um, solid, solid pick, I think. Captaining Mo Salah against West Ham seems an optional. A good option of my two goalkeepers, Bournemouth at home or Brighton at home. Brighton, I feel, they're least likely to score. In fact, I genuinely think they're probably going to get relegated. Um, yeah, I go with a 4-3-3. Um, keep Perez off he's playing City though City's defence is pretty weak lately but again I would put money on Traore and Jimenez to score more than Perez Ings is so prolific Bamiang's playing Everton he's at home so statistically I think this is the best decision to go with um, I could switch Perez for Basham but Basham has been getting good minutes for Sheffield and Sheffield are playing Brighton I feel like Brighton will have difficulty scoring. Fleck might score for Brighton. He's been pretty good lately as well, himself. Um, 10 pointer, 9 pointer recently against Man City and Ar uh, against Arsenal West Ham. So, um, we'll see. Um, that will give me next week. I still have one free transfer right now. Um, that will give me next week two more transfers. Two more free transfers of 1.4 in the bank. Um, so, next week, this is game week 27. Game week 28 is a. A few teams that aren't playing, simply City, Arsenal, Sheffield United and Aston Villa. Um, so I will be having to bench my goalkeeper Henderson, one, two, three, four players. I will probably transfer out John Fleck at that point, um, I don't know. I After this game week 28, after game week 29 and onwards I want to bring Jack Grealish in as fast as I can, he'll be replaced by Perez. Perez is right now has will have Norwich in game week 20. I might keep Perez just a little longer. Um, we'll see how he does versus Fleck versus Triori. I mean, pretty good set of fixtures there too. Fleck, not as great. Although he does have a game in hand against Aston Villa, which will be scheduled. I don't know. I really want Jack Grealish in though. Jack Grealish, an amazing player. Yes, these fixtures are absolutely atrocious, but Aston Villa themselves are consider them an atrocious club right now. Definitely going to get relegated. Um, almost definitely, anyway. We'll see. Um, going to hold Salah. I was thinking about dropping him, um, bringing in a third Liverpool defender, and using that money to just really strong midfield and forward line. Um, the Liverpool's fixtures coming up are fantastic as well. No difficult game until Man City at which point the league probably be over. Um, would probably be over unless they drop it somewhere here. Um, Obama Yang, again thinking about switching him out for Fardy because he has no game week here. Fardy has a really nice run of fixtures. Fardy's game is pretty tough this week so I'm probably going to hold Obama Yang. Maybe I'm actually put it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pairs off. I might, I will have to sell somebody then I guess. Probably Fleck. Maybe Fleck for Grealish. I have 1.4. I don't have enough. We'll see. Nothing certain yet. I'll uh, 
see how we do this week. Um, really would like to get back up into the inside the top 5k. Um, if you look at overall, we're at 1758, and my points overall right now are 1588. So about 200 points ahead. I'm about 200 points behind. Not impossible over the next couple of weeks, but long way to go. All the best, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.